His style draws from symbols of the Yoruba myth and culture. He weaves them together in several paintings displayed at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Abuja. <laughs> Another artist who is oozing African culture is Tola Wewe in this solo exhibition at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Abuja. He's given the audience a good dose of it. The painting is titled Akwewo. Incidentally, that's the title of the exhibition. Um, Akwewo is a Yoruba word, meaning um, people gather together to view an event. Um, but uh, beyond this, the exhibition is primarily inspired by Odu Idigbe, uh, which uh, talks about um, Bata. Bata is a drum. Uh, the day Bata became a Niakwewo, became a star uh, because of his spectacular performance. You don't gather to watch something that is not spectacular. And when something is spectacular and you gather to watch it, you want to watch it again. And so it becomes what we call a wutungo. Something that you watch and you want and you want to watch again. His motives salute the Yoruba tradition and they have become his signature style over the years because it's always infused in it. I published uh, an essay by Mufo Nifade uh, about uh, onoism and talking about Tola Wewe and a number of others and the art movement that they started in at the, at the then University of Ife. As a result of that essay, a number of other artists, scholars, wrote rejoinders and rejoinders, and we actually had a robust conversation going on in Nigeria about visual art and art movements in Nigeria. I've known Tola Wewe for a long time now, and he's one of the veteran artists in the country. He has been inspiring a lot of young artists. And um, I said I must be here, you know, to see the how his work has evolved over time. And from what I'm seeing, I'm not disappointed at all. Art is a universal language, and Tola's works appeals to the audience, no matter where they are coming from. It's unique in the sense that there's no way you watch, you look at them, even when you are not Yoruba, you see something going in those work that really mere looking at them cannot explain and that is why the title he gave to the exhibition itself Akbewo which in Yoruba means something that people gather to watch interesting because it's uh, probably yeah, an African inspiration but with a mix of uh, influence and it goes beyond the African inspiration and uh, it's quite interesting it's more abstract and uh, figurative and I think it's what is interesting you can a bit find what you are looking for in his painting. The artist takes us through some of the paintings he has done and the story behind it which is a lesson depending on how one looks at it. Um, this particular one is actually um, trying to say you do your best and they le and leave the rest. It's inspired by one Ebenezer Obi song, Kete Kete, about a man and his uh, donkey. And when they started this journey, the man was on top of the donkey, the young boy was in front of him. They were going on a journey. People accosted them and said, ah, ah, this man, you are so wicked. You leave the little child walking and you are on top of a donkey. He later brought the child on top of the donkey and he was falling and then they said, another, they met another set of people and said, oh, you, aren't you stupid? The little boy is on top of the and you old man, you are walking. Okay, How, what do I do? He said, okay, um, let the two of us be on top of the donkey. And they met another set of people and they said, oh, you want to kill the donkey? Two of you on a small donkey, aren't you wicked? Oh, he now said, okay, what do I do? I will satisfy you people. He came down, the child came down, the donkey was going, and they were all walking, and then they met another set of people. Aren't you stupid? Why would you allow the donkey to be going without you riding on it? He now looked up and said, you can never start a human being. All you need to do is to do your best. It's not so much about a learning curve. It's about somebody who is at the top of his game and seeing 
um, what uh, he brings out every two years or so. He's one of the leading artists in Nigeria. He doesn't follow fads. When you see a Tola Wewe work, um, you, you, you know, you know. And it's profound and it's, it's um, very culturally grounded. And at the same time, it's uh, speaking to this time. But one work of art strikes a chord. It's a testimony that the Wewe clan in Ondo State will always be thankful for. As the artist in the bunch, it inspired him to create this piece. In 2011, my mother was, uh, who was at that time about 81 years old, was kidnapped. And um, the kidnappers were demanding a ransom for me. She was taken to the creeks of uh, Sapele in Delta State for 10 days. So I made this painting in celebration of her return. I exhibit this painting from time to time uh, to show the return of my mother. Uh, she actually came back in a, on, on, in a car, but uh, I had to depict it in a Yoruba traditional forms. The work that he put in, in it and also the combination of abstraction, but there are also some uh, realities in, in it, but it's more, uh, of course, an emotional attraction first. For those who cannot afford to pick up one of these large pieces, there are miniatures in this exhibition. I do have a number of favorites. Um, I'm not quite heavy on the pocket to be able to pick them up at the moment, but also what I love about this exhibition is, aside from the, the main pieces, there are also the, the small ones on the table which are not so pricey. So the idea is that um, there's something for the big collector and there's something for the small collectors also. People who have not been collecting art, they can start small and they can pick, pick um, the, the pieces that, um, how shall I say, that fit their pocket. So there's something for everyone. So the ones that I like, that I can't afford, I shall enjoy them. Culture is the way of life of the people. That's what Tola Wewe is celebrating with these works. Josie Ajiboye hails from Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. He was trained by the Sudan Interior Mission after his secondary education. He worked as a trainee for African Challenge Magazine, a division of the Sudan Interior Mission, an evangelistic missionary organization. He was educated at the Yaba College of Technology and was taught by some prominent artists such as Yusuf Grillo and Solomon Wangboje. He started work as a cartoonist with the Morning Post, Sunday Post and Lagos Weekend. In 1971, he joined Daily Times Art Department where his popularity reached a height with cartoon columns like Romance of Life and Josie Ajiboye on Sunday, before retiring as group arts editor in 2000. Ajiboye's cartoons were devoted to social and political criticism, but his style of paintings has focused on nature and culture. He is a member of the Society of Nigerian Artists. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Let's know what you like to see in year 2019. And you can also tell us your memorable moments on the show from last year. Next week, we'll be spicing things up with some performances. So you definitely won't want to miss that episode. I'm Melinda Akinami. Thank you so much for being a great part of Art House in 2018. And I'm looking forward to a colorful relationship in the new year.